So about two years ago, I didn't really know about the stuff that I could avoid to increase my testosterone as a teenager. So when I got to high school, my testosterone was pretty low because like I wasn't even able to stand up for myself if I was getting bullied. I wasn't really able to get motivated to do pretty much anything, to start a business or to study more or to focus on anything or to just have enough energy to train like a beast. I didn't really have enough testosterone. So uh, I started learning about how to increase it and you will probably see a lot of videos where you will hear about the things that you should uh, add to your life to increase your testosterone. But in this video, I will tell you about the things that you should avoid doing to uh, increase your testosterone. So the first thing that you want to avoid is estrogenic foods and drinks. So this can be things including soy, things that have like seed oils, alcohol, for example, sugary drinks, sugary food generally, food that has a lot of unnatural stuff that is like processed and shit like shit that is unnatural will probably not increase your testosterone usually so you want to what you want to do is instead is to just like intake food and drinks that are natural that are like non-processed that are over organic so like eggs meat for example their diary and just like vegetables stuff like that uh, and try to avoid the vegetables that have a lot of pesticides in them that can be hard but it can be really worth it uh, and also when you are buying eggs uh, you maybe want to try to get organic eggs from real farms because the usual eggs in stores, sometimes those chicken are fed with bullshit that can make the eggs a bit more estrogenic compared to the organic eggs. Uh, the next thing is that you want to avoid is fucking up your sleep. So uh, you can fuck up your sleep by like staying up late, scrolling on TikTok. So you want to avoid that uh, because that will fuck up your testosterone. The next thing that I avoid personally uh, is uh, unnatural uh, deodorant and perfume so the usual deodorant is like the spray and the perfume that people use I haven't found the alternative to perfume that is natural but for deodorant I have so instead of using the spray deodorant that can fuck up your hormones you're better off using either like a natural stick or I just got a handmade a natural made from like herbs and stuff uh, deodorant that is like a cream that you will put on your armpits to not stink and it's handmade natural from natural ingredients and that's a pretty good alternative or you can just use a stick that is as natural as possible but the spray is the worst thing that you can possibly use the next thing that you want to avoid that i avoid is the usual body wash and the usual shampoo so instead of using the usual body wash body wash what i started using is a natural goat milk um, soap that is made from natural ingredients handmade so you want to use something like that. It's actually pretty cheap, so it's not that expensive. You can use just the natural goat milk uh, soap that is like just natural ingredients in it. You want to use that for like taking a shower and for your hair, don't use that. For hair, you can either not use anything except water or you can get a natural shampoo, what I did, and use it like once a week. Natural shampoo that has all the bad ingredients removed as natural as possible. Uh, and the next thing that I avoid is fapping. So I don't fap because fapping is just too bad. It will just like lower your energy, your drive, your motivation, your testosterone. So you want to avoid fapping. The next thing that I avoid is hot showers and sauna because these things can kill your uh, sperm count. So you want to avoid those things. You can do them sometimes if you really like, but they are generally not a good idea. Cold shower will increase your testosterone compared to hot shower. So you want to consider that. The next thing that I avoid doing is a long, long cardio. So a better alternative is just instead of like, what I usually do is just short explosive workouts, like sprints, for example, is better than long, long running. Or when I want to do cardio, I will just do a shorter, but more intensive. So for example, instead of running for two hours slowly, I can run for 30 minutes, but a lot faster. And that will be healthier for my testosterone levels. And the last thing on this list that I will mention is avoid washing and disinfecting your uh, your hands too often. Because if you if you are washing your hands like 30 times a day with a bullshit uh, with a bullshit soap and using those like bullshit uh, hand sanitizer stuff that you can find on like in stores and in airports that started going around uh, d during coronavirus, that kind of bullshit you don't want to use because. You will think like, oh, this guy is saying don't use that, like the, I, I can get sick. No, you probably won't because your immune system is there to fight with bad things. So if you are non-stop literally like sanitizing your hands, 
Firstly, your immune system doesn't really have what... Your immune system will probably get weaker and also your testosterone gets lower when you put such bullshit on your hands all the time. It's unnatural. What you want to do is to wash your hands with a natural goat milk soap. Not too often, like a few times a day is probably normal, like three times a day maybe. But sometimes even once or twice a day. You don't want to wash your hands all the time because that's, that's bullshit. You will just destroy your skin on your palms and it will become rusty and it will maybe even start falling off. So that's, that's a bad idea. So yeah, that's generally what I avoided to increase my testosterone as a teen. And generally, at any age, you can use these tips. So this is what to avoid. If you want to know what to add to increase your testosterone, it's just like exercise, sunlight, for example, uh, healthy fats to your diet, stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. See you tomorrow.